Hi, and welcome to Front Row Review. I'm David Graves. I'm Brian Maniachi. And I'm Vince Maniachi. And tonight we are going to review the CG film from DreamWorks called How to Train Your Dragon. I had no anticipation going to see this movie. It wasn't one of those movies like, man, I can't wait to go see this, it looks so great. I just went to go see it because it was something to go see. I can't say I had any enthusiasm really to go see it. Because it, it, from the trailer, it just looked like another generic movie, like like Hoodwinked or something, or Open Season. And it really, to me, it didn't. It really didn't thrill me. I mean, I was like, I I don't know if I really want to see that or not. That's absolutely what you know. I was trying to say it was a movie look generic. It did not look anything great it looked like another you threw it together cg film looked very generic looked very ordinary and didn't look like there's anything great about this movie whatsoever when i first saw the trailer i wanted to go see that that movie it looked like a good very good movie this is why i ended up going to see it it was because he really wanted to see it vince yes it was one of my favorite movies of the year absolutely love this movie as soon as it started I was like just blown away by it I mean I it was absolutely it's on my list as one of the favorite movies of the year so far when I saw it it was phenomenal phenomenal <laughs> I don't know how to say that word phenomenal phenomenal it was it was phenomenal this was an outstanding Standing film from just everything about this movie was great. Now, first, before I go farther into the movie, remember that one trailer talk we did, Vince, of um, what was that called? Shrek 4? Oh, yeah, that one. Where we were talking about how DreamWorks just, you know, that they were a good company, but they just really weren't making anything great or anything. This is the movie that DreamWorks needs to be making. These are the films that DreamWorks. Needs to be making. This was absolutely almost as good, or I should even say better, than anything Pixar has ever created. I don't know if I'd go that far. I went that far. I think that uh, DreamWorks definitely, with this film, has definitely stepped up and made. I mean, the animation in this film is much, much better than anything they've done in the past. And I, I was, I really did enjoy. I did enjoy this film. It was a really good film. A Pixar good, a Pixar good, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it Pixar good. Absolutely Pixar good. The other thing about this film is, of course, like I said, they have it in uh, the regular 2D, and then 3D, and then IMAX 3D. I can't say I really had to see it in IMAX 3D. This, th this movie was kind of, to me, it was kind of like up. I mean, it was really good looking. Everything looked good in 3D, but it didn't really, to me, it didn't necessarily need the 3D to make it look that great. I mean, it would it would have looked fine just seeing it in regular 3D or regular uh, uh, 2D. Uh, I mean, I agree with you, but who cares? The movie was great, and I'm glad I went and seen it in IMAX 3D. What I say about the 3D, they did... Uh, a good job on a 3D. Oh yeah? Hear that, DreamWorks? You <laughs> did a good job. If you remember my what I was saying in my up review, is I was so angry that, you know, anyone who don't have kids will not go see a CG movie, and this is one of those examples. Every single adult out there, I guarantee you would love this movie. You don't need kids to go see it. I totally agree. I, I totally agree with that. It is not a generic movie. This is top of the line film this is you know as good as it gets even live action or cg this film is as good as it gets and you know i, I wish they didn't have that kind of kitty generic trailer saying oh look it's a dragon movie no the story here is so great and everything's so great about it it was just you know i really wish the trailer wouldn't have been so bad for the film you know nobody's really other than the kids they're going to be enthused about going to see it but you're not gonna, you're not gonna get, you know, an 18-year-old or a 21-year-old to go, hey man, let's go see How to Train Your Dragon, man. 
you know, I'm sorry, they're they're probably gonna go see Clash of the Titans, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's that's the absolute shame when, you know, this is the movie that everybody needs to be going to see. It's so good. I really like the main character's boots. Boots? Yeah, his boots. The main character. You like the main character character's boots? Yeah. Out of that whole movie, you like the main character's boots? I did. It's just something I like. You didn't care for the dragon so much. You like the boots? I like the I like the boots and the dragon. <laughs> oh, okay. I like all this You whole like the movie. boots. I like the main character of the boots. I tell you the other thing that I really liked about this film is it's a Viking movie. I mean, when's the last time you've seen a great Viking movie? I mean, really. This is a this is a true real Viking film. I mean, these Vikings are big and they're they're tough and you know, they're using their swords and their axes and they got the Viking ships and I mean, it's a great Viking film. So, so David, like we have to ask this. How many Normans? Golden Hey Brandon, how many, uh, how many Normans, or how many Naked Watts are you going to give this film? You know what I'll give it. The Golden Holy Awesome! I would have to give this movie a five out of five. Hang on, let me come over here and kick your butt. I'll be right there. Bring it on! I really like the main character's boots. Okay.